Now I gotta find a home for this reactor, okay? So I've got a little spot in my shop over here, and here we go, this bench. I gotta clear this off. Look, it already has a little periodic table right there. That's super handy. So this is gonna be its new forever home. Bench is clean, and I'm a couple days older. Probably a good time to start 3D printing some borax containing briquettes. So basically like a modular interlocking design that we could put all around our bench here to prevent on the off chance that neutrons flux does come out of these things. In the experiments, um, it'll protect us. And I'm not a fan of just taking the borax boxes and like bricking those up. I think that just looks kind of sketchy. Like let's, let's be professional about this because eventually it'll go into the open source design. We're gonna cannibalize all of these goodies off of this rail right here. Bunch of good stuff there. And back there, got some power supplies, some mains power coming in, little fuse block. And one of my favorite things here is Unistrut right here. I feel like we could use some Unistrut and just mount it right to the bench so that we could have sort of a fixture to mount everything to. Kind of stocked up with some of this. I just finished one of the manifold sections in 6061 aluminum. So the idea here is that the clear acrylic, we're gonna use that to start to get sauna luminescence and see what that spot looks like and take some sensor measurements. And then we're going to migrate eventually to aluminum in the middle so that we can start having, um, when we get to high heat and high pressure, if we wanna contain that at let's say 200 PSI with a thousand PSI burst and like a 300 PSI safety blow off valve, we're gonna want some aluminum so that we can conduct that heat and hold that pressure. So the clear stuff is really just to see what's going on in there when we first get this thing brought up from the initial parts we put together, initial code, stuff like that. 